Welcome back to Trends and Friends. If you love checking out farmers markets here in town, now's your chance to check out a new one. Here to tell us about the Wolf Earth Farmers Market is Dan Bays. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I'm so proud to be here representing the Wolf Earth Farmers Market today. Uh, I'll just tell you the, the first thing that's really important. It is the only market in Lubbock that is actually year round. Okay. Uh, so that's a real plus. And now that vegetables are coming out, as you can see, we've got lots of vegetables here. The vegetables that are coming out uh, need some place to be sold midweek. And it's right. also the only midweek market in Lubbock. Right, because so you do good. it twice a week. That's correct. So okay. Saturdays from 10 to 2, the market's open. And also on Tuesday from 3 to 7. Okay. Saturdays year round, Tuesdays, May to October while the produce is coming in hot and heavy. Okay, and we have lots of wonderful things here. Kind of walk me through um, some of these beautiful things that you have that people are obviously going to be able to find at the farmer's market. Well, you know, you can always find your fresh produce. There's there's several vendors, and, and that's what most people go to the market for is fresh produce. Right. You know, you've got your onions, your beets, your kohlrabi. If you happen to be looking for kohlrabi, we've got it. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> we've got some beautiful golden zucchini and other produce. Eggs are available from two or three different vendors. Okay. Uh, we've got beautiful tomatoes that are starting to come off, some great peppers, okay. black-eyed peas. There's greens all the time. Okay. We've got honeys, jellies. We've got some great pickles, about 15 or 20 different flavors of pickles. Okay. If you want it, it's available at the market. And these are all locally grown? Everything you see here is locally grown and produced. Okay. There are some things that we can't get in Lubbock, Texas right. that we bring in from other areas. Some of those are available there too. We even have right. coffee there. It's not produced in Lubbock, obviously, right. but it is roasted here. Very cool. Now, obviously, and another thing that you have um, that we were kind of talking about is food trucks. You actually had Nick Shaved Ice out there the other day, kind of coming right. full circle today on Trends and Friends. Food trucks are another big thing uh, that y'all do. Almost every market, there's two to three food trucks out there, mm -hmm. and it varies just depend on who is in the area. Okay. And, you know, they, they're set up in advance and they come out, but there's usually a great sandwich. There's usually some shaved ice or gelato or something like okay. that. So it's always something good out okay, there. Okay, so you can come and shop for food for dinner, maybe get something that you can eat right at the moment. Maybe some ice cream. It's always uh, good to have. Now, again, let's go through where is this located because it's kind of <coughs> a little further out, maybe That's right. off the beaten path a little bit. But easy to get to. Right, you know, exactly. If you go west on 82nd Street, you'll pass 179. The high school, Friendship High School is on your left. Just right. keep going a little bit further, and it's on the right-hand side across from the Bellfields. So, I mean, it's easy to get to. It's 82nd Street. Just keep going west. You'll see it, absolutely. Two big roosters out there that are <laughs> okay. greeting you, and they're probably 10 feet tall. And another thing to mention is it's outdoor. It's also indoor as well. That's right. That's why they're able to go year-round, because okay. there's an indoor side as well. So you'll see 15 to 20 vendors set up outside, but you'll also see the inside building okay. and you can go in and there's usually 15 or 20 vendors inside the store all the time as well. Is there any particular time that the outdoor side is going to close down or is that just going to be maybe until it gets a little chilly out there? We dealt with it uh, all year and, okay. and it was cold and windy out there and there are just some troopers out there that are vendors. Okay. So it, it doesn't shut down. If it just got icy and cold, nobody's going to come out to the market so there might not be anybody there. But I'll tell you on some cold days, I was out there shopping because that's where I buy my, my produce and my, my products and there's a couple of diehards that are out there every week. Okay, and you guys have some fun stuff coming up this Saturday for the that's kiddos. Right. Tell me about that. This Saturday is Kids Market Day. The first 40 kids to the market are going to get gifts and balloons mm -hmm. and uh, we'd love to see them out. There's a little sandbox out there for them to play in. There's all kinds oh. of fun stuff for kids out there and you can teach them about buying local, eating local, and enjoying good, healthy food. And if anyone is wanting more information about anything that you guys have going on out there, how can they get that? Two great ways to do that. You can get on to the web at wolfworthfarmersmarket.com or look at us on Facebook, facebook.com slash wolfworthfarmersmarket, right. and that'll find you. And they update the vendors and the products every Thursday on both of those sites. All right, Dan, thank you very much. A lot of great stuff, so you're definitely going to want to go check it out. Thank you very much. Thank you. Coming up, how the an event in Plainview is going to the docks after the break. <laughs> 